That's not balanced, debated. Nice one, Toby. Oh, Toby, you've ruined everything. We put our trust in you. <laughs> right, back to captain's mode. So last time we saw instant bane. This time, bristleback and then dragon knight, which are. Uh, DK. I'm not sure why bristleback is first banned. Does veteran have a plan? So he's assumed the mantle of the supreme drafter. Yeah, well, he drafted last game as well. Um, yeah, he likes drafting at the moment. He's he's really keen he on it, doing it as much as he can. So uh, there's there's going to be a logic to everything he does. He's not just randomly picking here. Oh, well. yeah, sure. So sure. to get rid of Bristle and Necro, he's got something in mind. But can I try and figure out what it is? Why would you ban Bristle Bristleback and Necrophos? And Necro. Yeah, it seems like odd picks to me. It don't synergize. Um, mm. Okay, gone for Beastmaster. That, that's more standard. Void is standard for our in-house games. <laughs> Maybe not standard for the pro scene. Uh, Dragonite is a bit more common. Banner against Roids, of course. This is probably his best here at the moment. Used to be Tusk. Roids was always on Tusk. Now he's gone to that more pos three sort of role. Ten seconds remaining. Right, what's next? The bands were really quick. No reserve Five time used. This is the first band that they're thinking about it. Gone for Ursa, so another standard pick in this meta. I think Veteran's thinking about Ember Spirit. I may have called that too early, but we'll see. But that's what I'm thinking about. Gone for the Lycan band, fairly standard. Mm. They banned a lot of. They banned both Zoo heroes. Oh, I'd love it's, to see a random just, Broodmother come out. They least JCA is there. Uh... JCA is uh, not tilted then? No, the other like team banned it for him. Ray. But Visage, he's a pretty good hero. Very high winner at the moment. And they banned Snapfire. First pick, it's going to be Bane. <laughs> Eight bans, none of them Bane. But what comes after that? They got the Queen of Pain. So those were first bans last game. And now they pick Clockwork straight in. Look, we haven't used any reserve time yet. They knew exactly what they were thinking about. So Clock and Bane made it through this time. I mean, Queen of Pain and Bane. And first pick, second pick, Clockwork. He's a very strong offlaner. He can even be played pos four. And he's had some good yeah. success there too. Um, so I guess Clockwork's good for interrupting Ten the Bane ult. Remaining. But I found it quite difficult because th between you and Bane, there can be a lot of creeps. Like a lot of creeps and heroes and you can't always get a clear angle on Bane. And you can't always save your ult for Bane because you might need it to engage, so. True. You might just have to walk up to him and back to your assault. <laughs> Unless you get to BKB. Only 10 yeah, seconds Rana. of time used. Bane Rana, famous combo. You just nightmare someone and you line up the arrow. If your team are clever, they'll take the nightmare off them so that they can move out the way of the arrow. But if they're alone, it's a guaranteed 5 second stun. It does also stop the Radiant from getting Marana for Marana Clockwork as well, I guess. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Alchemist is banned because they know Ross is on the other team. I think <laughs> you never want to let Ross get Alchemist no matter what. They banned Phantom <laughs> Lancer as well. I wonder if Rain Range, Wind Ranger will get through. Potentially. I find Wind Ranger can struggle against Clockwork a bit because Clockwork hooks you and then you're trapped in the cogs. So I know you can get a four staff, but you know if Clockwork gets Ags or his own four staff, then it's hard. Ten seconds remaining. It's Clockwork's a good pick to hold down someone like Wind Ranger. She's just trapped in the cogs. Five seconds remaining. She's not got high attack speed to kill the um, the cogs themselves that quick. So, what do I think about next? Reserve time is now finally being used by the Radiant team. Ollie has been doing lightning fast drafting so far. He did mention that they might get some more combo with the Clockwork. Zeus Nimbus can work. Also, Nimbus oh, yeah. is very good for cancelling Baynot because it is a global stun. Uh, but you can always go Silencer yeah. too if you want that. Because we did, we did do uh, Zeus Clockwork in a pub the other day. Yeah, it's strong. And it was yeah, and then but then there was a sniper for there as well. It's all good. Yeah, shrapnel in the cogs. Uh, well, it was more, it was more like Zeus would ult, so you find out where you are, and then you took shot. Oh then, right, like, clever. I would like ult as well and stuff. So there was a, there was quite a few times where you, like either one of us three could start the jump on someone and then you just put everything else on them. It's almost like good a global. Pick. Yes, good combo. Keeper of the light. So oh. I'm not sure who that synergy for. I guess you could run a filthy Queen of Pain Cottle Lane where yeah. you just spam endless shadow strikes. 
Chakra, yeah, Shadow Strike, Chakra, yeah. Shadow Strike. You can do Will O Wisp into Queen of Pain Ult as well. Knock them a little bit further in, keep them stunned. Yeah, it's got some potential. Ten seconds really. Yeah, that's gonna I don't know what you do against that lane. You look for someone who can dispel it, maybe you think Five about Oracle and just try to lane the Oracle wherever the Queen of Pain is. Mm. Or Abaddon. Also good work. I know there's no Brex. Team pick. They've gone for Sand King. Sand okay, so there's King. their engagement. Okay. I'm still thinking about Ember Spirit, to be honest. <laughs> Ember does alright. Ember's a good pick against Quop in lane because he can slight a fist to shadow strike. And his chains stop Queen of Pain from blinking. And you can just do your, what's it called? Slight of Fist and then Searing Chains. That combo, it's like 3.5 second root. Queen of Pain's just a sitting duck. You can't. Seconds remaining. Slight of Fist to Shadow Strike. I think you can. Are you sure? If you're like Slight of Fisting long enough, or do you think that the dagger sort of travels around? Oh, okay. In which case, it's not so good. I almost thought, I almost certain that you could. But maybe you can't. I don't think you. I don't think it was that. I've definitely played against Embers, who've gone slight of fist. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I thought you could anyway, but we'll see. I just thought veteran. He knows that that hero is strong, and, and maybe he'll try and fit it into his draft. That was my prediction from the start, but we'll see if I'm right. It's a fairly safe prediction though, because it's such a strong hero at the moment. We're now running out of reserve time on the Radiant. They're probably having some sort of debate. We've got our supports, potentially support Clockwork. Be pos three though. I think it's gonna be pos three Queen of Pain and support Clockwork. So you're looking for some cores now. Out comes the Luna. It's a favorite of Ollie's. It's got some synergy with their team. You know, Clockwork goes in, you've got the Will-O-Wisp. While everyone's held in place, you pop down that Eclipse. So definitely some reason behind the Luna. Will there be a Shadow Demon? Shadow Demon would work. Ten I think Oracle is a good pick here. Because you can dispel the Queen of Pain. You can dispel Five Blinding Light. Remaining. You can hold Clockwork in place. I think I don't know if you can dispel off his Battery Assault. But you know, I, I think there's definitely something to be said about Oracle. If that's what they want to do. Of course. It's up to them. And this is a veteran draft. Well, who knows what cogs are turning in his head. That's true. Yes. One more pick before the ban stage. The time is being used. We're thinking about some cores now. I think a good this would be a good Storm Spirit game. Look, Queen of Pain, nothing against Storm. Clockwork, no. Nope. Keep Rated it light, no. Nope. Gone for Juggernaut. Okay, they think it's a safe hero in a good lane. Yeah. It, can, it can spin off the Shadow Strike. It's got Healing Ward in case you get harassed too much. You can just ult the Clockwork or the Luna. I really think they should think about Storm Spirit though because the enemy team have almost no lockdown. And when there's no lockdown the enemy team, you go Storm Spirit. Then you have free <laughs> reign over the map. You can kill Quap, you've got Engage, you can go in with the Sand King. Ah, oh, it's, it's strong. I definitely think this is a storm game. They ban Medusa instead. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Fair well, enough. Roy said that he really wants to play Ember, Toby. So, <laughs> so we will see. He did, and and Veteran said that he liked drafting it or wanted to draft it. That's why it was my and, prediction. Yeah, and he did play Ember in a pub because of what. Ten seconds um, we said in, the, in one of the casts that nobody really plays Ember. Five so seconds Veteran remain. purposely played Ember in a pub, and we won that game. And he did, and his, he did quite well. So he was like, you know, I could play Ember. He was just proving a point. So we're in the last ban now. The enemy team have a potential mid with Queen of Pain. So you're either thinking we need to ban a support, like we could ban Oracle for us for themselves. That's what they could be thinking. Or maybe they'll <laughs> think it's going to be Queen of Pain Cottle then. No one is a good Ember player. That's true. No one is good at Ember. We yeah. have a few people who can play it, but no one is really good at Ember, like yeah. proper Ember <laughs> men. They've banned the Zeus, so they're still worried about the Nimbus. I think they so should maybe... now pick Storm Spirit. Well, in the old chat, you know, there, there was Zeus mentioned, so maybe they did think that they were actually going to, they weren't bluffing. 
Yeah, it's true. It could happen. Ten seconds before Ten the reserve time remaining. starts to kick in. Five seconds remaining. What could they pick other than Storm? Could go Void Spirit. There's not a lot of lockdown, so mobile heroes like that are very good. Thirty seconds left. Wonder what they're discussing. I mean, to be fair, in the pro scene, even if they know what they want to pick, sometimes they use all their reserve time up just to discuss their strategy in game. So they could be doing that. Yeah. They could be thinking about like lanes and and what they're going to do in the early game, what they're going to itemize. Radiant team. And now they finally committed. They've gone for their own puck. It's going to be a Ross puck, I'd imagine. Uh, good lockdown, and yeah, there's very few heroes on the Radiant who can take Puck down. Puck lanes well against Queen of Pain in case they put Queen of Pain mid, because obviously Puck can just phase shift yeah. all of the daggers. Can even phase shift the Scream of Pain, if you're paying attention. So if the Puck is skilled, it's an easy lane. <laughs> if the Puck is skilled. Or well, paying attention has good reactions, more like. But I think Puck is better than Queen of Pain in lane, definitely. Having played that matchup a lot on both sides. In our last 20 seconds for the Radium, they probably either need a mid if they're planning on running Queen of Pain in the off lane, or they need an off laner, or they need support because they run Clockwork as threes. They've got a lot of options here. They've gone for Tide. So they thought we, yeah, it's it's a popular, well, not popular, well, it's popular here in our in-houses, but for Tim, he's known to play a lot of Tide Hunter. Yeah. It gives them that big team fight engagement to combine yeah. with the Will-O-Wisp. So that's some and, lockdown. And Pop Alt and Luna. Yeah, it's a lot of burst. Wow, okay. Compared oh, Tim Clockwork, okay. Tim Clockwork, okay. So it's going to be a support Clockwork along with Keeper of the Light with his majestic Pegasus and glowing stuff. Oh, look at Pegasus, what beauty. And so it's Ollie mid. And it's a Tom Tide. So yes. it's the other T, the other T in the team. Yes, the T team. Ross SK? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Roy's pack. Ross Sand King. No, <laughs> I'm not sure what? I've seen Ross play much no, I Sand haven't. King. I would have thought that's a Roy's hero and Puck would be on Ross, but that's what they've chosen to do. Um, Ross is going to do his big Sand King plays. Is it Sand King mid or is it Ro Fuck off lane? You know, like. Well, if you. Because well, you, you can't do SK mid. I think Queen of Pain has to go mid. On their draft, so I think you'll put the puck mid. Oh, I got a, I got a uh, message from Veteran. This is our new strat to mitigate Ross feeding. Put him off lane. Well, there you go. He's still going to feed. He's just going to feed in a different lane. Anyone want to bet he's getting Radiance? Oh yeah, he's going to rice it up. He's going to max out Caustic Finale and Sandstorm, leaving his Sparrow Strike at level one for like the entire game. And then he's going to farm. He's going to get Boots of Travel, and then he's going to get Radiance, and he's just going to run around the map farming like mad. You know it's going to happen. But we'll have to see. Maybe he's a reformed man. <laughs> but, you know, he, one of his strongest traits is farming. And Sand King's definitely a hero who can do that. So as much as we like to yeah. joke that, you know, he just farms and doesn't do anything, he is so good at farming. And it's what you Maybe need. Maybe he'll do a Miles Sand King and become top net worth. I, I, if anyone's going to do it, it's definitely gonna, it can be Russ. The Miles showed us what he was capable of on that hero. Let's see if Ross can yeah. live up to his name. I'll take it. I'm going to go and turn my light on it. All right. Just have a sneak peek at the items. Looks like Royds has already brought a salve to mid. <coughs> already? There's, there's no playground because there's no disconnect. I think playground only works when there's a disconnect. Oh, I don't know. Who knows, that, to be kind of, that kind of makes sense, but <laughs> coming through. Woo! Wow, look at Topson's name. TT. Top Topias. Tavitsayan. Something like that. Some Johann Sunstein. 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 I don't know. Sunstein. I, I don't know how to pronounce uh, Danish. Oh, Whoa. out comes the bounty all at the same time. They obviously counted it down. <laughs> they hate Bane. <laughs> oh, dear. 
They're coming for you, chopsticks. Rip Bane. <laughs> B. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That's me doing uh, Genji's ult from Oath from uh, Heroes of the Storm, yeah. where it goes choo, choo, to this X right. All right, let's see what's going on here. We've brought the Bane, the Juggernaut. You've got to be careful when fighting Juggernaut level one, as we know his Blade Fury does so much damage. Was it like 450 damage? We've already started battery, so they brought three heroes top. 300 damage come out from the Clockwork. I think they're going to get him already. He gets hit by the Illuminate, but I think he's going to be okay. Is he going to turn around and get the heal off? No, he dies. Out comes the five bounty claim already. I, I'm surprised they actually... Like, it's like they planned it. It's a shame you can't get any of those, and they still lose the bounty rune. <laughs> Even after all that. Oh, dear. Ross has opted for Sandstorm at level one. Oh, dear. <laughs> but no, There's still one no bounty points. on him. Yeah, oh, because Tim got the, the kill. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't wow. really matter. The net worth hardly changes. And who got the kill? It was Clockwork, wasn't it? Yes, Tim got. So it's not a massive change. You know, he's playing support Clockwork anyway. But it's Clockwork tied. It's quite a scary lane. They're both strength heroes, so they won't die instantly to the Blade Fury. But hopefully, it means Bane's just going to do a lot of right clicks. He has seven armor when he's near his tower. He needs to click more. Come on, Chopper Six, click them. Click, click, click. click. This is attack range. 400 is pretty damn low. He just needs to click them as much as he can and let veteran farm. I think this should be okay in the top lane. Mid lane is that. F oh, he's already got Shadow Strike on him. That's a feed. That's a report, Royd. Sorry. That's a feed. You should, shouldn't, oh. have, shouldn't, shouldn't have Shadow Strike on you. Okay, there you go. Nice dodge. That's how it should be. That's better. Okay, we've got a 1v1 fight here. Cosmic versus. Tim, I don't think you can fight a clockwork. Maybe you can. You've actually got much better stats than him. So much, so much more armor and attack damage than clockwork. Tim's hiding behind the one tree. Oh, let's have a look at the line of sight. Okay, I'll look towards box. There's also a fight top. JC's gonna go oh, down, but they get return God. combo. Let's go back top where the fight was happening. It was Tim versus Chopsticks. Gets another brain sap. He's trying to get the brain sap. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna have to run now. Ooh, clockwork is fast, but so is Bane. Bane's gonna get away. <laughs> Just Tim fighting chopsticks non-stop, but they're both level one. Whereas Veteran and Tom managed to get the XP level three on the Tom. Ollie, he's quite a lot lower than Royd's. He's gotta be careful, gets hit by the Lucio Orb. He's gone for two points for the Lucio Orb. I would have gone for one point at both, but I guess that's too much mana to commit to, so. Yeah, I think that's fair enough, that build. Ollie's used his own salve now. Just trying to rush bottle. I think Royds may already have his bottle coming from the courier. Yes, it is. Pop lane's the name where I think some action is going to happen. Tim barely has any experience, whereas Chopsticks has managed to get his own level 2, so he's got that nightmare ready now. Oh, here comes the Blade Fury. Doing a lot of damage. He's decided to keep it going on Tom. Tom has a salve. We've got a sleep on clock, we're seeing a lot of damage to him. A veteran, he's going to go down. They just turned on him, just smacking him with the anchor smash. Nice juking, though. I think he's going to get away. He's quite a fast hero, Juggernaut. Tim is very slightly faster, and veteran, he's going to go down. They just man up and fight him. Level one clockwork, he's back in on chopsticks. Chopsticks has absolutely no mana. That's a good idea against Jug, isn't it? Just throw two tanky strength heroes at the lane, and then you're safe. Doesn't matter if you blade for you. I mean, I'm just going to turn around and kill you. That's exactly what happened. Remember that we first thought this game was dire favoured. Right, I'm gonna have Still a look. Early days. Oh yeah, it's definitely early game, but the Radiant, they've secured the first few kills. Right, let's have a peek in the bot lane. What's going on? We've got Drekken versus Belial as the supports. And we've got Ross, he's in the lane. Oh nice! Nice idea. You can blinding light him out of his sandstorm. Oh, there's a tip mid. I wonder what that was for. Oh, I heard an arrow. Illuminate's been stunned. Nice illuminate. 
doing big damage. Out comes the Blinding Light as well. Are you just going to try and man up on Bilal? I think they might have been able to. Out comes the Burrow Strike. One more auto attack. Ross does get the kill. I don't think you can keep going in on Drekum. You need to be careful. But nice kill then. I managed to actually capture that one. Top lane with right underneath the Dire Tower. That gives them three extra armor each. You don't want to take a fight when you're underneath their tower. You probably just want to be pulling or something instead. Looks like Tim's after Curry. He's not going to get it, though. I don't think you want to fight a level 3 Bane when you're a level 2 clockwork. Your battery salt doesn't do much damage. And Chopsticks has that second rank of brain sap. actually so good. The blinding light out of Sandstorm. Why have I never thought of that before? It's genius, that isn't is it? So, that is actually so good. And Drekken is actually higher level than his carry in this lane. He's level 4. And he just That's spam right-clicking. That's 330 move speed. You're not getting away. Wow, what amazing Kotl play already from Drekken. Already impressing me so much. JCA, he's chasing a level 5 Roids mate. I don't know why he's here. You're not going to kill him with your rank 1 Lucent Beam. I, mean, I know you're trying. I don't know how that happened, this situation. Where's Ollie gone? What's Ollie's the... top lane. He's going in for a gank. He's like, yeah, lane's a little bit tricky. I'm just going to go gank. I'm Queen of Pain after all. I'm good at ganking. And there it is. Well, at least Luna can take the far mid. That's true. Get level, th get level four. There's more levels for more XP for trekking as well. Level four on Luna. How's Ross doing bot? He's nearly level six. He is a high level, but then so is Tom's side. He's just manning up against a juggernaut. I'm oh. feeling like something might go down top. Tim is hiding in the bushes. Oh, he comes. They're going to turn around for chopsticks. Veteran, he's got his healing ward up. He's got to keep it safe. Obviously, he's trying to break himself out. Out comes the spin from Veteran. He's doing a lot of damage to Tom. And Tom tanks some creep hits, some tower hits rather. But you've got no damage because of the anchor smash. Tim is completely diving the tower. I think he's going to go down to chopsticks. Yeah, he does go down. Also, there was a kill mid. Roy's managed to get a kill. I'm guessing that's using Bilal's arrow as well. Yes. Oh, oh you spot him on Sand King. Bot lane. Luna. Okay, out comes the epicenter for a solo kill. Epicenter to 660 damage. It's more than a line finger if you hit every single um, pulse. It's one of the strongest level 6 spells. It doesn't scale amazingly well, so by late game it's not quite as impressive. But early game it's definitely something you've got to be scared of. And there it is. Solo kill on their core. Luna is only level 4.5. He is over 2 levels behind the Sand King. In fact, Ross or Drekken, he's going to hit level 6 first. Look back at top lane. Got level 6 in the tide, but he has no mana. He does have 4 mangoes though, which he's decided to split up 2 and 2 instead of 3 and 1. Veteran is just going to go in for the spin. He's like, yeah, I've got enough damage to kill you. Blade Fury. There's the kill. Tim is going to try and do what he can. He's only level 3, but I think he's going to get the kill. Yeah, he does get a nice return kill. Good play from Tim. He's going to follow up, trying to get chop 6. Roids, he's going for the Blink Dagger now. What's Ollie doing? Nearly level 7. He's already used Sonic Wave. I guess he used it in the mid where he unfortunately died. I didn't see exactly where he used it. It's coming up. Soon gonna have it. Out comes the arrow. It's not gonna hit him. Trying to jungle, but she hasn't got Wave, so she I don't know if it'll make Ooh. jungling a bit harder. Level 4 Luna. This is a sad Luna game. Yeah. Not a great return game for, for JCA, but you know, the game can still still go in his favor. This is the way. Ah, here's where the fight's going to happen. We have a level 7 Invis Queen of Pain with Sonic Wave, but not very much mana. So probably can only Scream of Pain Sonic Wave, but that is a lot of damage. That's what we're looking at. 600 damage, 640 damage with half of that being true damage. Pure damage, I think it's called in Dota. True damage is League of Legends, I apologize. Uh, is Ollie still here? Where's he gone? Nah, he's gone back mid. This Roy's just like, I'm just gonna farm. He's gone for max illusory orb. I think you should max waning rift first instead, to be honest. But, you know, it's his putt. Do what he wants. 
Trying to break them. Teardrop is a very good item, or Raindrop rather. I think Raindrop should be built on um, on Puck as well. Oh, looks like we found a fight here. Level six, nearly level seven on Keep of Light. This is this is the reverse of the way Draken usually plays the game. Usually he's really under leveled. Okay, they get him. Yeah. Miss him with the Waning Rift, but they do get him with the Illusion Orb. And we have a level eight, look, what did I tell you? Boots of Travel First, Sand King. He has farmed that so quickly, and now he's going for Blink Dagger, but he's like, I want to be around the map, I want to be fast, getting in with those stuns. I expect nothing less from this level 8, nearly level 9, is he the highest level? Yep, he is the highest level in the game uh, on offlane sand king. He's, he's had pretty much a free lane, there is a level 5 Luna trying to jungle. Oh, he's been caught, is he going to get out? Nah, he's going to go down, he uses his one, but he's only got like one charge on it. And... Okay, don't take the outpost though. So, actually, the other team have the out. They have each other's outposts, so it's a one for one I'll there. Your tribute. <laughs> have this level eight roids approaching top lane. He finds both them top. Pops the dream call. Nice, pretty flower. But do they have the follow up? Veteran is doing what damage he can. Nice arrow comes in, gives them the damage and the stun they need. Yes, Tide can purge it off, but not quick enough. Out comes the Omni Slash. Is it enough damage? Oh, no. Not quite, but they are going to get the kill. Bilal securing it with his Star Storm. There's a four man rotation for top, but they got both the kills on the pos four and five, so it's definitely worth it. Jog's got his mom. So, so the Dire got some nice return kills. Juggernaut was Mask Man, so he's gone for the I Want to Be Strong early game build. Yeah, he wants to get. As much value out of Omni Slash as he can. Careful. Well, Ross is, Ross. Ross is playing Sand King, but with no regen, which seems like a bit of a mistake. So he's having to he's having to just buy loads of mangoes and clarities. But I feel like Sand King maybe wants to get a one mana item because you know he wants to be spamming Sandstorm, Barrow Strikes, quite expensive as well. He should be looking to pick up a mana item, maybe. Or maybe he won't and he'll just keep buying them. His own uh, <laughs> clarities. I think, well, he always carries mangles and clarities with him anyway. He does, but I don't know if that's a substitute forever. I mean, maybe just grab a cheeky soul ring that you can just burrow strike whenever you want. But, you know, it's fair enough. He needs to get that blink dagger and he's just going to keep sending out regen. I guess he can always travel back to base. Just run into yeah. the lane. That won't, you know, he's fast, so he'll get back to lane quickly. So it can definitely work. Oh. Okay, we've got the dream call in mid. Does it have enough damage to kill Tom? He's not an easy kill. Dodges the arrow. He's going to drop the Ravage. It hits three. Anchor smash. He should have done the gush before the anchor smash. Royce then pops his haste. Willow Wisp is dropped, but it only gets chopsticks. Chopsticks go go down to the scream of pain, or the sonic wave rather. Bilal, he needs to run. He's not got his ult. Tim, it's not quite close enough to get to Bilal. He's still got loads of leap charges. Just does two straight away. So they did commit a few ults to that, but it was worth it. They got both Roids and Chopsticks. Roids still the highest level. They're actually going to get the tower as well. Tim's just going to go over and hit that. Oh. Okay, out comes the Sand King ult with the Sandstorm. Is it enough damage to kill Tom? Yes, it is. Just gets the solo kill. He's now quite out of position. He's just going to TP out. We have the battery oh. assault though. And we have the mana given to Quop. And Ross, you're going to go down. And he was level 11. So that's a lot of experience he gave to the other team. Yeah. But he's still the highest level. Well, he just blinks in. That's going to be an ult, Mask of Madness, and he dies. And then it propagates oh. to Tim. Almost a double kill. He doesn't go for it. But I don't know why Ollie blinked into a juggernaut. That's uh, an interesting decision to say the least, but uh, unfortunately he's paid for it with his life. So, interesting decision from Ollie anyway. You can see that Dyer, they are up just on kills. It's 11 for 10, but the net worth is quite comfortably in their favor. Uh, Ross is high on the net worth, but actually, Veteran is on top with his jug. If we look at his jug, it's 3-2-2. Um, his score, so he's not got uh, not got a ton of um, kills or anything, but yeah, he's just been farming quite well. He's got the most last hits. Looks like bot lane. Got a kill on Roids. Yep. 
Oh, he gets out with the reigning rift. He's trying to heal himself. He's going to have to jaunt to try and keep himself alive. And then Drekken's going to get the kill with his rank 2 blinding light. Maybe we should think about Moonlight Shadow now, Bilal. But uh, mm -hmm. does not have it yet. We got level 6 of the list of supports from the Dyer. Luna. Let's not forget about Luna. Just been jungling the whole time. Only has one point in Moonglaves. But I think he should have put more points into it. Now has the Helm of the Dominator. So we're going to be farming a little bit faster. Actually not too bad in net worth. Overtaken Tom, even though he did nothing in this game apart from farm the jungle. So, yeah, Luna's making a comeback. Well, she has been left alone, I guess. So. She has. And that's maybe going to be a problem if we get late enough into the game. Got to be careful. Oh, full mana just from a call. Unreal scenes. Well, if you max Chakra first, that's what yeah. you get. I'm never convinced about maxing Shaka, but I guess it's nice to have mana. And it does lower the cooldown more, so. And the cooldown of the spell goes down. Right, you've got a level 12 Sand King with his Blink Dagger. He's now going for Pipe, because I guess his team needs Pipe against the um, all the Quap damage, the Lunar Ult, Cottle Blast, Clockwork, Battery Assault. There's loads of reasons for Pipe here. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Oh, out comes the epicenter. It blinked. It's gone on Ollie. Can they get the dream call in time? They do manage to get the waning rift, and he actually goes down to Belial. So they had vision there. You can see Ollie uh, is immediately pinged here and here. He's like, oh, they clearly got vision somewhere. <laughs> Which maybe they did. Do they have any vision? I don't know if they even had vision. I can't see them having any vision. Um, I. Maybe he just knew he was there, I don't, I don't know. Well, I still hasn't got Moonlight Shadow. I had one, but it expired. Maybe. Some, well, Ollie was taken out. Nearly level 13 on the Sand King. He is becoming monstrously strong. As well as this Juggernaut, he's doing well too. Just being allowed to farm, do what he wants. He's now got his Maelstrom going straight for me only. So he wants a lot of attacks. We, we have a kill here. Bean script used. Out comes the arrow. Another, oh, we have a Ravage in the back, so Ross is going to go down to the Ravage Scream of Pain combo. Oh, I didn't even use Sonic Wave, but they do manage to kill Tim. Which, I can't believe they didn't need Sonic Wave, they managed to kill Ross. Tommy's just blinked straight in, he's got no Ravage though. Roids, Dream Calls 2, out comes the Omni Slash, Mask of Madness Omni Slash is going to immediately take out JCA. Oh, nice stun, Ollie broke it. Actually, that that's unfortunate, he, he just went too far from the core, but he's going to blink away. And you've got this veteran here, trying to do what he can. There is the sentry, but now they're out of vision. He's just blade fearing, but you can't chase Cottle. Cottle is so much faster than you. Ollie, he was so tempted to use Sonic Wave. He's still tempted. He's going to have to run. Cottle's yeah. faster than he had the glimmer, so... He's so fast, Cottle. 50 movement speed faster than a Juggernaut. Even more when the Tranquils are up. Just can't catch him. <laughs> Juggernaut's not even that fast, even when his phase boots are active. I think it's got the movie speed talent as well. <laughs> oh, the cottle. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. It's gonna blast him in the face. Veteran is staying far above the others on net worth at the moment. Oh, here comes the ult. They blink straight in on Luna. Out comes the arrow as well, and that's gonna be a kill. They've got this nice gang oh. squad going around. Well, I think JCA will probably take another week off. Oh <laughs> dear. <laughs> You've just bullied him out of the game already. Um, How could you guys? I mean, they've... <laughs> the net worth is, is strong for the Dyer. I mean, if we have a look at the creep score, we can see all three of them are winning in farm. So the Radiant, they're just not quite getting as many last hits. Interesting drawing from JCA. I'm just saying, he did something like this. Okay, like it's like, oh, they're in our jungle, in our map. <laughs> they're, they're in both jungles, okay. I'm not sure what he was trying to signify, but I can understand how he could be quite frustrated. Ross has done yeah. a lot of work on the Sand King. I'm surprised at how well he's taken to the hero. We found Ollie. Out comes the Dream Coil. He's now silent. Is he going to get stunned by the arrow? No, he's not. I think he's going to get away. He does manage to get away. No, but Roy's is following him. Blink in two seconds. Sonic Wave doing a lot of damage in return, and he does actually get out. I thought they had enough to kill him, but they didn't. His JCA gets locked out by the Fiend's Grip. Oh, Royds, he was paying attention. But now Tim comes in. They have taken out JCA's Luna. But there is a return kill on Belial. 
Tom is now here, so I think they're going to get chopsticks as well. So it's going to be two kills for JCA's death on Luna. So he should feel a little bit better about that. Yeah, but I bet he wishes that he was up for like either the kills or the, even the XP for that. But hey -ho. True. He's going for Ags first, which I think is correct because it means that even if he's not very fed, he can still drop a powerful ult in the fight. He just needs to try and hit level 12 as well. I think he's a bit low level on Luna. Yeah, he's actually the lowest level on his team, even below the plus five clockwork. Forms up in 30, so that but look good. at uh, look at the XP. You see, we've got a sandwich here because the three die heroes are at the top. Then all the radiant heroes and then the two die supports. Yeah. <laughs> so they've they've not distributed the XP so fairly on the die. There's the radiant and more sort of the radiant are communism. So we've got a bit of uh, fascism on the die. <laughs> Okay, 20 minutes. Both outposts belong to their own teams. And here comes yet another ult. But he doesn't get anything. His blink was still on cooldown. Or maybe it was cancelled by the rocket flare. So, oh well. Epicenter's not a massive cooldown. It's not as long as Ravage, at least. Oh my god, look how much regen he's got. He, he ate two mangoes. He's got three more. He's got four salves. Oh, it's because he had the shovel. He, has, he did dig, dig up a lot. Is this another Belial pause? Oh, I can't play musical chairs. This isn't as fun. Ah, oh, I'd love to play musical chairs. I'm clicking. Oh, I was I'm working. Clicking. Oh, I was working I'm in a painless. Oh, I lost. What? Uh, I wasn't. I was in the three vertical ones. I was in the middle. Oh, I clicked where the call clicked. Well, right, very quickly, most people got eliminated. I guess they didn't play. Ah, oh, it's the one v one. Easy game. That oh, was quick. Pause. That time, that's good. Oh, there's another pause. They wanted to change the game. <laughs> it's a better game, this one. This is where I just play Osu on stream instead. I worked out how to make it launch, by the way. Oh, nice. What happened? You have to launch it as admin. Where the, where the hell is Juggernaut? Oh, he's there, bottom right, bottom right. Oh second. yeah, he's there. Hope he's not gone for too long this time. I bet OC with my stream open and with Dodge open at the same time, it's going to be so laggy it won't be playable. I have a feeling. <laughs> so I shall I see if it actually works this time. It's uh, I thought Osu didn't take up that much light. Does Osu, does it want to show? Does it want to show? Black screen. No, it didn't want to show. I even ran it as admin this time. And it still doesn't want to show it. What is maybe wrong with Osu? Maybe maybe we just can't handle your Osu skills. So it's just no, crazy. we can't. You wow, cannot. two people chose racist. Does not work. I, I thought it was if I ran it as admin, it would work. F. Because everyone said it, it was. It was the solution. The solution it was not. The problem was OpenGL. Oh, maybe I need to disable OpenGL. I don't have OpenGL running. What's going on? Uh, lots of people have the same issue, so... Where the bloody hell is Pierre? Oh, for God's sake. You just do desktop capture. Is that the only way you can get it to work? Maybe I'll try uh, desktop capture. I think even when I did that, it still didn't work. I think I've even tried display capture and it's still... Oh, oh I saw it for a second. And then Dota's on top. Oh, no, there it is. Wait, it's there. Hey. 
It works. I have to use desktop capture. Uh, this is going to lag so much. So I got Dota open at the same time. So you have to tell me when the game starts again. Yeah, rank 10k feels bad, man. I bet it's going to be so laggy. Oh, how are you so fast at the fuck? Oops. Here you keep on. Oh my god! Cool song there. Well, yeah, true. I just reconnected, fuck. Rip OC, it's gone. <laughs> it's not an OC stream if you can't hear the keyboard though, isn't it? All right? Like, you're just used to hearing it on OC streams, you, you almost can't avoid it. Especially when they're really good at the game and I you have to really hammer the keyboard. Because I like keyboard noises anyway. So. I do. Oh. I know I used to play with someone who hated keyboard noises. They get so triggered if they could hear the keyboard. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah and I'm no, like, no. I don't care. As long as it's not super noisy. But like, if you're playing Osu and you have a noisy keyboard, you mute yourself while you're playing so that... Oh, I see. Because you don't want to be in a lobby, like a voice chat with people and you can just hear like 50 keyboards going off at once. It's, <laughs> it's not <laughs> hard. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're back, we're back. Okay, smoke popped. I may have to try and, if I can be bothered to edit that out of the the, the upload. <laughs> or I'll, I'll put on a, uh, a little, like a link thing you can click on saying skip to, skip to this where the pause ends or something. What do you call it? Something to click, annotation. It's the word. Dave streams Osu a lot, man. You should uh, check him out. He's very good at the game. Well, I, well, I've not, I haven't seen him play Osu. I've, seen, I've heard him cast it, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah. Looks like they found Veteran, but do they have the means to kill him? Okay, they popped the Ravage. They popped everything. He's oh, Even the Will-O-Wisp. So much committal. And he's just going to go into Whoa. his ult. Deletes Drekken. Deletes Tom as well. They've got the Fiend's Grip on Oli. Are they going to go for Oli? They've held him in place for a long time, but I don't think they have enough to kill him. He actually goes down, down to the brain sap damage. So they commit a lot for Vetter. They pop every single ultimate. They still couldn't bring him down. And now Tim, unfortunately, his found two heroes. Great juking from Tim. But I think he's still going to go down. Just one too many heroes there. They're going to even pop the epicenter, which maybe is overkill. But why not? Kill secured. They, that they, bane. Oh my God. they tried so hard to stun lock it. Where did Luna die? I don't remember that happening in the fight. Illusion. Oh, he did already died to Ross really somewhere else. Level 17 on Ross and level 16 on Roids and level 17 on on Veteran. Really Meanwhile, their supports are still the lowest level, so they've still maintained that support sandwich. So the radiant sandwich for the Dyer. Really so, the Dyer now have the advantage. You can see the main thing is the core difference. We have a 6k core Luna, whereas a 12k net worth on Juggernaut. There is a big gap between these two cores. And Oli, he's about 3k behind his mid opponent. He's had to go Yule's first item just to try and not die. And now he's going, oh, it looks like we're popping the Eclipse. Is he going to get a solo kill? He's very close to picking up a solo kill on Royce. That would have been amazing for him, but now his team have turned up. And he's going to go down. Out comes the tip from Royds. Very oh, tilting. That is, yeah. <laughs> it, it was Seriously. really close. But Puck's just a little bit too evasive with that Yules, that blink, that phase shift. And of course, Royds has, well, Ross rather, he's got boots of travel. So he's always going to turn up whenever there's a fight. Level 18 now, so he's maxed out Epicenter. It's a shame Epicenter scales so badly. Classic Roid's Aeon Disc coming up. Oh yeah, of course. He loves an Aeon Disc. He likes to be as hard to kill as possible. If you've noticed the way Roid's plays any hero, he doesn't ever build damage. Doesn't matter who um, 
Doesn't matter who he's playing, he just builds tank, 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 tank. His job is just to be annoying and just to create space. He lets his cord do all the team team damage. He's just there to annoy you. Uh, well, no, it was Puck mid. A standard Puck mid. Sand King was in the offlane. Ross playing offlane Sand King, his new calling. Looks like they found Roids, but will they be able to get him? Oh, he's used up as well. They pop the Ravage, it hits a creep. Easy creep deny. And he gets out. He still gets out. Appropriate use of the <laughs> of the voice line. And Roids manages to escape. Looks like they found chopsticks. But he's gonna turn around and go straight into the ult. Dream Call's been used as well. They're both in place. The veterans just carve them up with the Omni Slash. Meanwhile, they managed to get another kill yet again on the Luna. Ross Bilal combo. Three easy kills. The Dyer are really showing their dominance now. The, oh my god. Oh. That Bane and like just... Oh. Well, I knew it was going to happen. Bane was just going to turn yeah. around and ult. Ross has just gone in on Drekken. He's even popped the Essence Ring. Essence Ring is very expensive though, 200 mana. I really like Essence Ring. I like it, but it's a lot of mana. Yeah, First, too. Burrow into Arrow is good. Well, Burrow, it's... Yeah, Burrow Strike is 2.2 seconds stun. So that's plenty of time to line up the Arrow, which stuns for 5 seconds, doesn't it? Yeah, 5 second maximum stun when maxed. Tim, you're going to have to run. They brought Ollie here. They're going in. They're going to try and get chopstick. Ollie's blinked in. Sonic Wave hits Veteran as well. Veteran doesn't have Omni Slash. Here comes the Eclipse. He's trying to do some damage to Ross, but Ross is so tanky. He's got the pipe. He's got the Essence Ring. Veteran is chasing Jekum. I don't think he's going to get him. We don't have Ravage, though. Ravage is not available. I think they're just going to have to be happy with the one kill they got and leave. Royce isn't even there. He's just farming. They found Drakum. Bilal trying to kill him. Not quite enough damage. Ross is just sitting there in a sandstorm. He's bought four more clarities. He's of course he has. Of course he has. Radiance top tower has fallen. Level 13 on the Luna. Whereas level 19 on the Juggernaut. He's going to break it to try and get away. Taking a lot of damage. Just oh, gets killed arrow. by the arrow. Oh, no. But Lyle has done a lot of work with these arrows. He's hit probably like 90, 95% of them. I know they have the setup for it, but how much damage does the arrow do? For 510 damage? 510 damage on a 5 second stun. What a powerful skill that is. Only 15 second cooldown as well. And you can lower the cooldown further when he hits level 15. Which I'm almost certain he will. Here comes the epicenter. He's going to blink on Ollie. Pops the veil. Ton of damage. Dodges the arrow. He's going to try and blink out. But the Illusory Orb comes straight on top of him. Tim, he tries to help his team. But it's a little bit too late. And the die take him down as well. We've got that Ether Lens on the Bane. And 1,600 gold. He is a scary hero as always. But this Sand King making so much, so much work in these team fights. Well, just Epicenter, Blink, Burrow, Veil of Discord. Pretty much any kill. Any kill you want, you can have it when you're Sand King. Went for the Sandstorm DPS, which is a much better talent than Epicenter Pulses. But they did go for the Epicenter damage as well. It's only 25 extra damage a pulse. I'm not sure how many pulses you do per second, but it's not a lot of damage, that talent. But I guess he doesn't really need 8 armor, so fair enough. Doing his farming in the enemy jungle. Just trying to get a little bit of gold. Picking up some neutral items as well. Oh, Rice has got his Aeon Disc. I don't know if he just got that recently. Aeon Disc, okay. Nice. He's got the Enchanted Quiver as well. Enchanted Quiver is such a powerful item. That's a 300 burst damage to your combo. Five seconds stun oh, on a Roche. Oh God, a telescope on Dyer. That's exactly That's what Bane needs. <laughs> He's gonna love that telescope. He's got it now. Telescope it, with yeah. Ether Lens. He's heading towards the cast range talent as well. For heaven's sake. He's gonna be casting his ult from like across the whole map, the whole lane. Yeah. Looks like we found Roids, but he's not an easy kill. See? Aeon Disc. You ravage him, and he just Aeon Discs. But now we've popped Ravage for a single kill. You need to get back, guys. Tom, what are you doing? You need to get out. Out comes the epicenter. It's just going to be used to kill Tim. 
We've now got some stun onto Tom. He is running amazing Bane grip. He's going to get a second kill. Jekin is dead. I think, Tom, you're going to die too. Yeah, how comes the arrow? And that is three kills for the Dyer. They also have Roche, which I believe would have gone on to Veteran. Yes, it is. Level 20 Juggernaut. He's got his axe now. That gives him the swift slash, the small army slash. Unfortunately, Luna is far behind in net worth, 10k behind. I think now it might be game. We'll see. Maybe Radiant could do a good team fight. We're still trying to buy Ags on the Queen of Pain. Oh, that was a. Uh... Oh, Luna ult has been popped. Is it enough damage? He's almost got the Lucent Beam. A couple more attacks. He wants to get one kill of his own, but he can't quite get him. Chopstick is just too fussy. He does get the kill. He's going to try and TP out. That was a good TP. Well played by JCM. Ooh, gets the circle and gets up. Meanwhile, Veteran has taken the tower. There is an Ags. Must put the Ags counter on. Had Seer Stone in my Bane game I just played. Wow. Seer Stone is the dream for Bane. Absolute dream. They pop the Cottle out. I'm not sure it's going to do much. Maybe just zoning them. They have both the Outpost and the Dire as well. It's a rich get richer scenario. Three of them Dream Cold. So they're just hanging out. We've got no Ravage. There is Mech though. Great Barrow Strike. Hits all three. Omni Slash coming through. Just carves up their team. Fantastic Barrow Strike from Ross. Perfectly. All three heroes in a straight line. Why is Ross suddenly so good at a hero I've never seen him play? Now comes the Epicenter. Epicenter stun. Uh, he cancels on Epicenter. I take it back. He's rubbish at Sand King. Ignore what I said. <laughs> no, I think it's probably maybe the hero rather than, I mean the player rather than the hero perhaps. Yeah, he's, he's a good player. And JCA is gone. Oh god. Uh, Another weak break. <laughs> yeah, it stacks up. To be honest, it was a very tough game for his Luna. Very tough game. But you know, it's it's not because he played badly, it's just good play from the Dyer. I think the Dyer did excellently this game. That is going to be a kill on Ross, because you know, he blink striked into the fountain. They buy back the smoke, they're trying to make something happen. Clockwork misses his hook. Chopstick's doing a melee range. Oh, gets instantly interrupted. Tom's going to take him down. Roy with a three man dream call. Ross is now in again. He's used buyback. We only have the swift slash, so not the full omni slash. Jack in, he's going to go down. At the same time, they get another kill. That's a kill on Ollie. What rank is this Illuminate? It is Max. I think that is the GG, I'm afraid. It was, again, pretty good in the early game. It was close, halfway through, and then the Dyer started winning fight after fight after fight. The Belial Ross combo, just running around being an absolute terror. And the Juggernaut, he had some great Omni slashes that game. They couldn't bring him down. Well, I thank you, JCA, you know, just for filling in. We needed one person, and you took on that position. That is yes. what we needed. So thanks for that. Tim, he shows that creep who's boss. Tries to go in for Ross afterwards. Gets him the cogs. JCA, he tried to get his Eclipse off. Well, not JCA, whoever's controlling him. Out comes the Epi. Tim's going to go down. Sonic Wave doesn't do very much at this point. They're pretty much just having fun, at, you know. Jacken's gonna get stunned. And um, yeah, this is GG. His Murano's actually got tit. To be fair, yeah, I didn't know, I don't really know much about Bilal. Um I don't know Murano is one of his heroes, but yeah, he yeah, did very is. well on that hero. He knew what he was doing. It he was like playing Murano. Well it was no mistake that he did so well on this Murano support. You know, great combos. I thought it'd be combo with the Bane, but it was combo mostly with the Sand King in the mid game. 75% 75, 75 we're in 100 games. That's amazing. Alright, now we're just bullying. Oh dear, oh dear. But it was a good game, lots of fighting. Just unfortunate that the Luna got shut down so hard and couldn't really catch up after that. Well, I didn't rage quit. He just left a bit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Nepalese government shutting him down yet again. 
But they tried to do it twice. <laughs> Am I going to get in on that party before it gets filled up for a normal five stack? I haven't played any Dota today. <gasps> Your contract. Indeed. I've requested, but... Rejected. Why did they reject it? Oh, it's Turbo. Never mind. If it's Turbo, I'm not interested. I don't, yeah, Turbo is not very fun. Wanted to play a, a normal game. But anyway, it was a good match. Unfortunate for the for JCA. You know, he tried to farm. He actually, there was a point where he really was catching back up. And I thought, oh, yeah, maybe he's he's going to come back into this game. You know, look, he was top net worth of his team at about the 17, 16 minute mark. But then, unfortunately... Yeah, he just got found. He got found stuff. again and again. And the Dire, they just kept pushing their advantage. Just juggernaut firmly on top of the net worth. And as you can see at the end... It ended up a little bit of a stomp. But good games all around. And just thanks everyone for playing. Next in-house.